OBS is an extremely powerful broadcasting tool that allows you to create content all over the world for free. However, most streamers only use 1% of its power by only using vanilla OBS. Today, we are going through 5 different OBS plugins that will make you stand out from the crowd and take the production value of your stream from amateur to professional. My name is Barry Epps and this is Content Delta. Okay, disclaimer first, this only works for the OG OBS, it doesn't work for Streamlabs OBS, and if you have been thinking about switching, then see this as your sign to do so, you can thank me later. Have you ever wondered how I get different transitions depending on which scene I'm transitioning from or to? Or maybe you are wondering how I make my YouTube gaming content without ever needing to cut out alerts and that kind of stuff because they're just not recorded? Well, after this video, you can do the exact same. But if you do have any questions, I stream every Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday on twitch.tv forward slash mathmenu where I try to answer your questions live on stream. If I can't, however, we have an amazing community in the Discord with experts on software, hardware, charity streams, events and more. Check the link down below. Now this first plugin fully depends on when you watch this video because they're actually adding it natively into OBS from version 28.0 onwards. I am of course talking about OBS WebSocket. This plugin on its own does absolutely nothing, but what it does do is allow other programs to take control of your OBS. We are talking Streamer.bot, TouchPortal, LeornBoard, even your Stream Deck uses OBS WebSocket to communicate with OBS. The interaction that this adds is absolutely mind-blowing and just from the idea of adding streamer.bot and leornboard and touch portal and all that your mind should be reeling with the possibilities that this gives you and the reason for this is simple it allows you to have chat commands or buttons or voice commands even that change your scenes change your audio turn it on and off waters your cactus even changes the url in your browser sources automatically really this plug is just the first step, the foundation, the catalyst to greatness for your content creation studio. Installing it is super simple, just go downstairs into the doobly-doo, follow the link, it leads you directly to the OBS WebSocket website. OBS WebSocket website, now say that five times fast. Once you're on the website, go to the top right corner, click that go to download button, scroll down to the assets and pick the right one for your operating system. As I'm running Windows and I want to make life easy, I'm just gonna get the installer. That way, we just have to follow the instructions on screen for installation. However, I can't suggest adding a password to OBS just for that little bit of extra security, but if you do, make sure to write it down somewhere. Once that's installed, you've done pretty much all the pre-work to integrate your bots, get more plugins, or do whatever you want with OBS when you want it. And that allows us to move on to the next plugin, which is absolutely incredible, Move Transition. Move Transition is a plugin that, contrary to OBS WebSocket, does exactly what it says on the tin. It adds a transition which allows you to move stuff around instead of popping or fading, which are standard built in. This looks extremely fancy when you want to use it to move stuff from one scene to the other without it ever leaving your screen, such as your game camera, which is quite small, to a full blown camera for your just chatting scene. But that is not the main reason why I think this plugin is so incredible. It also adds some other things in the form of filters. Adding a move source filter to a scene or group allows you to move something on screen with a single button. If your camera is in the way on one side, then why not use these to switch around from corner to corner or side to side? It's super easy to use and really all you need to do is make two of these, one where it's in the original location, just click the get transform button and you're ready to go. And for the other one, you will drag your source over to where you want it to be and click the get transform button there. Make sure to scroll all the way down in the menu for both of them, just to make sure that you put the next move on to hotkey so it doesn't immediately switch back. And now you can just add a hotkey or add it to your stream deck or streamer.bot, whatever you wanna use, use it. The other filter is called the move value and it does exactly the same as what we just did for sources, but for filters. Dynamically change the shape of your image mask or change the color correction on the fly. Maybe even blur and unblur the same source without ever needing to touch anything. All of these can be done in this filter and it allows you to do some really cool stuff. To install it, it's very simple. It's the same as the last one. Go down in the doobly-doo, click the link, go to download, install it in exactly the same way. Next time you open OBS, it should be there. 
The way I use this plugin, besides switching camera angles, is I can scroll in a tiny screen on my Just Chatting screen or move a big screen behind my head to besides me so people can actually see what I'm doing more clearly. Honestly, the possibilities are endless and I would love to see what you do with it. So please leave a comment down below or at me on Twitter at MathManyU. Of course, this is great. You now have a move transition, but maybe you also have a really cool stinger transition that you don't want to give up. Or maybe you want to change from your game screen to your just chatting screen with a simple move transition, but then use the stinger transition when you move to the BRB screen. Well, that is the exact reason for this next plugin, Transition Table. Transition Table does exactly what it says on the tin. It allows you to set transitions depending on which scene you're moving from, which scene you're moving to. You can even change the duration and that kind of stuff. It is absolutely incredible and there's really nothing else I can say about it except use it. Installation is the exact same as the Move Transition plugin and all you need to do to make this work is to go into your Tools tab for your OBS and open the Transition Table. Then you choose the from, the to, the transition and the duration and you are done. Really it doesn't take much work but something so small can improve the production quality of your stream by miles. Next up we are going to make your stream accessible for anyone with one simple plugin you really can't miss. Before we do that, however, if this video has been helpful to you so far, then why not go downstairs, click that like button, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you stay up to date to everything that we do. Thank you. I know what you are thinking. How can I make my stream accessible to anyone? And it's very simple, really. Something that has only recently made its way to mainstream Twitch is closed captioning. Automatic subtitles when you're speaking into your microphone, allowing people that have hearing problems or perhaps just are lurking and can't have the volume up to follow along with what you are saying and commenting during the game. In a world where we are moving back into offices and out of our own homes and are unable to listen to everything that happens in a stream, but we still wanna show support, this is going to help us interact with you as the streamer and you interact with me as a viewer because I can now hear what you say and therefore I can respond to it in chat. The plugin in question we are going to be using is OBS Closed Captioner and we are going to start by installing it. This one doesn't have an installer, so we download the Windows version and open it. Now on your desktop, right click OBS and go to properties and click open file location. Once you've done that, go up a level twice and open the zip file. Take the files from the zip and drop them into the folder. That should install it. Now open your OBS and go to the tools menu. There should be a button called Cloud Closed Captioner. If it isn't there, you may have done the installation wrong. Go back a few steps, watch it again, see how it goes. If you really can't figure it out, you know where to find me. Then start by heading to the settings and choosing the caption source to be your microphone. Then set the profanity filter to on if your stream is not marked as mature. You can then set up your output as you like. Personally, I would leave this to streams only so the overlay does not show on your recordings. Toggle the add punctuation and leave the capitalization as is unless you want everything to be set to caps. But as you can see, this is not where the plugin ends because you can actually set it up so that it transcribes everything you say into a file. This means that when you start making YouTube videos out of the stream that you've just done, you automatically have closed captions for YouTube in the right places, timestamped and everything ready to go. All you need to do is tick the save transcripts button and find a folder to put them in. Leave them in .srt because YouTube accepts that natively and then you can just change the capitalization here if you want it any different from on stream. Then save your settings and turn on captioning and everything you say is captured by the plugin. If your viewers want to be able to see the captions, then they just have to click the closed caption button that's natively in the Twitch player. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? I already mentioned it a moment, but using these transcripts to use for YouTube videos made from your stream would be absolutely incredible. However, there is a slight problem on the other side, and that is the fact that there will be alerts and banners and sound effects and more on your Twitch vault recording that you maybe don't want to export to YouTube because it makes editing an absolute crime for that video. So how can we fix this? Well, that's where the final plugin comes in. It is Source Record. 
Simply what it does, it takes a source and records it separately from everything else. This is another simple one that comes with an installer, so I'm sure you can figure out how to install it. Once installed, open your OBS and go to the source or scene you want to record. Go to the filters and add a source record filter. Then from here, it works exactly like the native OBS recording. Make sure to give the file a recognizable name, set the record mode to either streaming or streaming and recording if you also record for YouTube, choose the path to save it on and make sure to choose the right encoder. Generally, that is NVENC for NVIDIA cards and ATI equivalent for Radeon cards. Set your bitrate to the same level you stream at, and if you want to capture audio differently, that can be done as well. Scroll to your different audio track, click it, and choose a track you are currently not using. Then go into your advanced audio properties, and for every source you want to record, make sure it is ticked in that column. Similarly, for every source you don't want to record, make sure it's not ticked. Then it will be recording exactly what you want to have on it and with the sound as you want it. So alerts can't be heard, music can't be heard and more. The incredible thing with this particular plugin is that it also comes in with built-in replay buffers. So if you have a replay buffer set up and you press your replay buffer button, this plugin will also make replays of that time period in these separate forms. So you can save them even easier. With those five plugins, your OBS has just gone from streaming software to content creation suite. There are two more videos coming soon all about OBS plugins. One is to upgrade your audio to the fullest. The other one is to use a completely new RTX based feature, which you probably haven't heard about yet. Make sure to go and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when these videos are published. And while you're down there, why not leave a like if this video has been helpful to you. But not even these plugins can help if your microphone sounds like you're gently making out with it while sitting in a garbage can. <laughs> so if you want to... <laughs> So if you want to make sure your mic sounds like a pro, check out a video I made for you right here. And as always, stream better, stream smart.